I think I dream sport. I dream it all the time, daydream, when I'm asleep, dream. It's something that when I wake up in the morning, all I'm thinking about is the game that night, the game in two weeks' time. If I can be the best that I can be, where will that take me? When I walk into Olympic Park, I see everything that I've done before. I see myself running down the runway when I was a javelin thrower and throwing the Commonwealth Games qualifier. The fact that I've been drafted by Collingwood, I don't think I could have been drafted by a better club looking back at, at my history and, and what I've done at this precinct. The reason why I started competing and, and wanting to be an Olympian in the first place was I wanted to inspire others because that's what others had done for me and if that means I've got to throw myself down a bobsled track to, to be an Olympian then that's what I'm going to do. Being on the big stage, the only way I can put it is it's an adrenaline rush. Packed stadium, watching you walk in and compete but then being someone that competed well and was able to get a medal such a rush and to have everyone cheering and looking eyes on you you feel like you you kind of feel like you're a god what it's mainly taken to stay at the highest level is really my mental attitude you know if you want something bad enough then you'll you'll do whatever it takes to get there and i guess that's just what i've done to get through all the adversity of like the injuries you know the setbacks obstacles it's been a mental thing the tattoos are a bit of inspiration and just to remind me what I've been through, whether it's been good or bad. The superhero sleeves on my quads, which in a way to say that I'm unbreakable. I just use that as inspiration that whatever happens to me, that I can come back from it and, and be and pretty much superhuman really and, and, and fight my way through it. This competition is going to give the younger generation something that they can strive for now and not not think that, well, it's going to end at the age of 15 or 16. Now the young girls have got a pathway to be AFL players. That's got to be an amazing feeling for them because now they've got a dream that they can follow that they don't have to cut off halfway just because they're a girl. Pulling on the, the Collingwood colours, I'm, I'm actually feeling quite privileged. I mean, the names that have gone before me that have pulled on that jumper, then I also think about the ones that haven't gotten the opportunity, all, all the, the women who have wanted to play football previously and their time's passed that never got this opportunity. You think about them and that if they're out there watching that, that they're going to enjoy seeing the first year of women's footy 